The resort island Bali, Indonesia, is the setting for the highly anticipated summit of the superpowers, U.S. President Joe Biden and Xi Jinping, his Chinese counterpart. Amid heightened tensions, both leaders stressed the need to manage differences and avoid conflict. We, as the leaders of China and the United States, should play a role in guiding and setting the directions so as to find the correct direction for the development of the relations between our two countries. In the meeting that lasted over three hours, Biden said he sought to lower tensions over Taiwan, a self-ruled island Beijing considers its breakaway province. And I do not think there's any imminent attempt on the part of China to invade Taiwan. And I uh, made it clear that our policy in Taiwan has not changed at all. It's the same exact position we've had. I made it clear that we want to see cross-strait issues peacefully resolved. Biden said if Beijing is not able to rein in North Korea, the U.S. would move further to protect its allies in the region. Earlier Monday, Biden met President Joko Widodo, host of the G20 summit, a gathering of leaders of the world's 20 largest economies. Well, as I told you, Mr. President, I don't think I'm going home. <laughs> The friendly banter belies months of intense diplomatic back and forth between Washington and Jakarta. Initially, Western leaders threatened a boycott unless Indonesia excluded Russian President Vladimir Putin. The compromise was to invite President Volodymyr Zelensky, despite Ukraine not being a G20 member. Zelensky is scheduled to participate virtually, while Moscow is sending Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The war in Ukraine and its impact on global food and energy security will be high on the agenda at the G20 summit that begins Tuesday.